Hello everyone and welcome to the Dice Commando YouTube channel. I'm Andrew with you here as always. This is the Commando News Network where we cover news, updates, and happenings from around the world of gaming and other related areas. This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership, including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! Hello everyone, welcome to the Commando News Network. It is October 9th, 2020, and relatively slow news week. So starting off last weekend, EA Squadrons finally released, actually released last Friday. Initial reviews are coming in about 7 out of 10 or so on the Steam review. Still, the game looks really cool, so if that's your thing, go ahead and check it out. In other news today, we have big news from Destiny, Ardent Saga news, no news really from Fab, which is kind of surprising, and then I got some sweet treats for Legion. So as of today, we are one week away from the release of Faltering Allegiances Set 11, the fan-made set for Star Wars Destiny, will trigger rotation. Their, the, their website is finally updated. It's been a long time since the website self updated. You kind of had to get info through other means, but now they have it updated, so please go check out the website. We saw a major spoiler article this week, Weapons of War. There was also an uh, article that went up by Agent of Zion about how kind of they what their design philosophy for balance is. Really good stuff in there, as well as the ban of Faithful Companions, which in my opinion was a long time coming, so that's great news. You can also see there, there is a plan for basically a celebrate, celebration release week. There's weekend release tournaments, ending with a Dice Commando tournament that is will be announced to the public very, very shortly. So in Argent Saga news, remember we are marching ever closer to the release of Echoes of Hawken or Hoken or whatever it is. It's actually next weekend. Going on right now this weekend, if you are in an area that has open game stores and allows you to go, uh, they are doing a sneak peek this weekend with the draft kit um, that we actually never, well, I never got to see. Remember, they just the first time they were going to do it was for the uh, Ascension release. Um, but that, of course, was the weekend that basically the country went into lockdown. So I haven't had any experience with that. It looks super fun, right? Specific kits to allow you to, to draft it. It looks super awesome. So you can go check that out. Uh, in other news, uh, we did get a big rules update today, which is, is not surprising if the, with the new cards hitting the market for lack of a better term today there should be a rules tools update with it which was released and of course don't forget that if you want the loot box twisting tides this is the water based one the first water based one we've seen make sure to sign up for that because it'll ship out at the end of the month so while we don't have any you know major global flesh and blood news really just marching ever so closer to that november unlimited release date uh, we have you know seen a couple announcements or i should say postings of unboxing and stuff like that that's helped tide us over. There is plenty of news locally, right? So Josh Schott has joined the Dice Commando team to help me out with Flesh and Blood coverage. He was able to go to a tournament earlier this week, and he was playing a Benji build. So the story behind that was last Friday, exactly a week ago, we had a online tournament through uh, that I ran through Gun Guy Games, and uh, one of the guys showed up with a Benji build that was kind of off the wall, and it, it like really worked. It did a ton of damage early, so... Uh, we took, you know, Josh and I talked about it. Josh was really a mastermind hide, but we went behind and play tested it, and it has some real potential. He took it to that tournament, and he did quite well with it, so expect that cast very shortly. So what you're seeing here is just one of the damaged shipment or damaged boxes from the shipment that Gongai got earlier this week for a bunch of their Legion stuff. Um, obviously unsellable, so they... They did us a solid, and they gave us a couple boxes of damaged product, which I'll be doing an unboxing on. Uh, I took the opportunity to open one of them and start playing around with some, just really just using it for test paints. That's what I'm showing right now. I think they came out pretty well. I've still got a little work to do. They're a little too shiny, but that was very exciting, right? It just uh, just proves that a relationship with your LGS is, is a good thing, right? So that's exciting. Look for videos on that coming shortly. So that's it for this week. Really no big news in Magic. Everything was, I mean, everybody's still angry, and there's all the sorts of podcasts about that. Mitch over at Commander's Quarters went silent for a while after trying to do some stuff, and there's all sorts of drama, but if you want to know about it, you can go find it elsewhere on your own time. So thank you for joining me again, and as always, guys, go Commando.
Thank you.